Hello there, this is Ujwal, uh, one of the design team members for Dress My Craft. Welcome to our channel and before we start with the actual video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that uh, you don't miss any of our uh, wonderful, helpful, creative videos. So today we are making these uh, beautiful shabby chic clear cards, the estate cards and I really love how they turned out. To start with, I'm using the estate sheets. Um, I'm going to link down all the supplies in the description box below so you can check them out. Um, and I'm using the Dress My Craft trimmer here to trim my estate sheets down to size and it works really beautifully with estate sheets as well. So. Um, I have A4 size estate sheets and or they are also known as OHP sheets in stationery stores and are easily available. So I'm going to cut this into half lengthwise. So the uh, each piece measures about 11 and a half inches by 4 inches here. And I'm making two cards. So I'm going to cut both the sheets uh, with the same measurement. So this measures 11 and a half by four inches now that I have these two pieces I'm going to go ahead and sew down three sides so I'm using my uh, sewing machine here today but in case you don't have a sewing machine you could either hand stitch this or uh, you could even use a fuse tool to fuse these three or four edges so that our shaker would remain intact inside those two layers of acetate Again, I'm not a seamstress, I don't sew much, but uh, this is like very basic stitch that I'm doing here, just basically um, sewing down three sides, that's it. So I'm not using anything fancy or any fancy stitching. But yeah, if you uh, want, you can experiment, use maybe a zigzag stitch or something else and you know, um, do it your way, add your own touch to these uh, cards in your own way. So here I am. Um, carefully sewing down the three sides making sure that I don't have any gaps on the corners or the edges uh, otherwise our sequence will fall out now you can see that I've created these two pockets and um, next we are going to score them in the center to to be able to fold it into a card so I'm using the uh, scoring blade on the trimmer to mark a uh, the center of the card here and I just wanted to show you how the score line would look so yeah this would make it really easy um, to fold the card later on now I'm using this beautiful sequence mix called angel mix from dress my craft and I'm going to uh, fill the pockets that I've created with this shaker uh, mix uh, or the sequence mix and I'm going to be using the pink smoke paper collection today and the sequence mix um, is a perfect match for that collection next I'm adding some micro sparkling dust uh, this is a very fine glitter powder and it will stick to the acetate and kind of make the whole thing very very shimmery so I added this um, in both the pockets and now we are going to sew the fourth edge as well and close the thing down I also added stitches uh, in the center so that the sequence would you know remain um, on both sides and wouldn't uh, come in between otherwise it will make the uh, folding of the card a little bit difficult I also let the loose threads hanging again to add to that shabby chic touch Next, I'm using uh, the uh, Pink Smoke 6x6 paper pad here and uh, I will just pick out one of the papers. You can see how beautiful this paper pack is. I'm totally obsessed with this. So, uh, I finally decided to go with this uh, beautiful black paper here. And I'm going to cut out a few strips measuring 4 inches by 2 inches. I want to create a small panel on the card for my design element. Um, and I want the shaker part or the clear part to be the hero of the card. So I'm not going to cover it up too much. This particular black uh, piece of paper actually I think adds a really uh, good contrast. A slight pop of color as well and uh, makes the whole thing a uh, pop up so um, you can see if I've cut four pieces I would be needing the second piece to cover up the inside where the glue would be visible so again to go with the continue with a shabby chic theme I have distressed the edges a bit I just pulled the paper along the edges to reveal the white core and I've stapled some uh, white tool to the edge 
and yeah and now this process takes me forever i take my own sweet time to figure out what i want here i have the pink smoke motif sheet cutouts um, and then i also decided to die cut uh, some of the foliage using the silver mirror paper and it really added a lot to the card and now i have this uh, beautiful satin ribbon twine that i am again going to staple to the classic doily die cut there so yeah it's it's a long process of figuring out uh, what I like or what composition I like on a card and I've just sped up this process so you can see how I'm working here I initially thought I would add some prima flowers maybe but then I didn't like the look so I dished that and I stuck with the motifs the motif cutouts from the motif sheets and some die cuts and even the sentiment I'm using from the motif sheet and um, and this I think looks perfect for what I was aiming for and I really like how this looks so now we are going to do the second card for the second card I'm keeping the similar theme but I kind of changed the composition a little I shifted the panel to the bottom part and then um, uh, instead of going all floral and the dye I added some more motif sheet elements onto this particular second card okay so yeah uh, just uh, don't stick anything from the start make sure you like your composition take a few minutes to you know uh, see what looks good where and uh, uh, compose it adhere everything like when you are adhering it is going to be final so make sure that you like that final thing before you actually glue everything down so that is what I like to do um, I play around with my elements and once I'm very sure that this is what I want I then start adhering everything so here I have my second panel ready too and uh, with a few little changes but I'm keeping the elements similar and I think uh, they both look pretty good together so I later on also added some uh, glossy accents to kind of really uh, make this bond very very strong so uh, again for estate cards make sure you're using a really good adhesive so either use a score tape or glossy accents um, so that you know nothing falls out later on now I'm working on the inside of this card I am covering up the portion where our glue is showing so that it looks seamless from inside out and um, then I also added I cut out four more pieces uh, similar to what we did for the uh, top part of the card so these additional pieces that we are cutting will allow us to write our own personal message on the inside so I am doing this, exactly the same thing that I did for the front panel four pieces uh, measuring four inches by two inches and then I'm going to distress the edges a little bit um, making sure that you know uh, it complies to our overall theme and then yeah we are just going to put, adhere it with some um, sticky red tape and to align it I'm actually laying it down on the panel that I already have and then folding the card over so that it sticks exactly in the same place and that's it our cards are ready and i really wish you could see them or touch these in person and see how beautiful they look uh, the micro sparkling dust really makes it all very very shiny and beautiful the glitter the sequence of course is a beautiful mix and all these elements have come together really beautifully in this cards so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you learned something some new tips and tricks and I hope you give these a try uh, I would love to see what you create and uh, thank you so much for stopping by today have a great day and I will see you again soon bye bye